So hi and welcome to this uh, review on Bosch packages and other robotic systems that might be of interest. In this case, we're going to talk about uh, this MCL 3DL. So essentially what it does is use point cloud maps to position your robot. Uh, so the first thing is how do we install it? It's really, really easy. You just have to execute this command with your ROS version. So in my case, I did, um, I have Melodic, so I would have to do Melodic here. Okay, so once we have it, then what we have to do, we can do is execute a demo using a ROS bags. So you have to download the ROS bag, whatever you want, and then execute it. So in my case, I have my notes here and I execute it like this. There we go. So in this case, as you can see, we have um, supposedly a robot that is moving around an environment which was previously uh, mapped. And using that information, it's able to position itself. Yeah, okay. So this is very good and dandy, but how do we do it for our robot? So the first thing is, let's create a robot. So in my case, I created this, um, this box bot gazebo. So very simple robot, a box with, with some wheels. Let me just show you here. There we go. So I positioned my robot, which is basically a box with wheels, and it has a, a laser and it also has a point cloud. So if we have a look at it, there we go. So we have laser information and we have also point cloud information so if we move around can move the robot around. We can see that we have point cloud information and it can see the environment around. Yeah. Okay, great. So now that we know that, we're, uh, that we have a system that has basically the, the minimum requirements to do this is you need some kind of point cloud sensor, an Ixtion or something like a LiDAR or something like this that can give you point cloud in some way or another. And the same with the laser. So in this case, we now need to generate a point cloud map. Yeah, so for that, um, 
we need to use our tab. So I won't go into details on how to use it. Uh, there's a very good course about it uh, in Robot Ignite Academy, so check it out. And I'm, I've used basically the, the examples that you can find there. So what I've done is, let me show you the command. There we go. So we have start RT uh, RTAP mapping. So let's have a look at the code. There you go. Okay. So with RTAP, basically what I needed is to find a place where to put the database generated that this is used afterwards for navigation only using cameras in that sense or also uh, to export the, the point cloud, which is the thing that I we need. So here you have to change the, the topics, the inputs. So basically my laser scan, the, the RGB camera and the depth sensor camera. Hmm. This you can leave it as it is, no problem there. And, and that's it. So once we have it, then let's, let's launch it. So there you go. We are now generating. And now we can launch this RTAP ROS demo turtle bot to see exactly the procedure of how it's going. So let me close my this here because it launched another one. Let me just close it again just in case. There we go. So it has all the, the map already done just because I did it before, but it generates, auto generates this map also with that data. So, but you see that now we have this, this point cloud here, but if we move, it will stay in place. And that's what we are interested in. Because now I can generate my own point cloud map moving around. There we go. So you have to spend as much time as you can if you want this to work. The better the map, the, the better the navigation will be afterwards. That localization, at least. So, yeah, I do it fast just to give you an idea of what you have to do. Okay, once we have it, then what we have to do is we go here and we, we close it. This will save the database information and now we can open the RTAP manager, which is around here. Well, you have to go to the correct place. So, uh, box spot, MDL, database, and here, this file. This is the file that was generated executing this. And you say yes, 
it loads and then you have the information of all the, the different places that, that it was that you've been there okay so there's an option here which is export 3d map and here you just select save and it will convert all the point cloud information into a file which is a PL Wi-Fi or a PCD file in in our case we can save it like this or PCD it doesn't matter I have it already saved there so I will do it and once we have it we can visualize if that file was correct so I have a note here um, you can use PCL viewer to do this so let's have a look and I'll select this one and there you go so this is the map I did and as you can see it's 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 well done so now that we're sure that this will work now we can use this package so for that we now go to this start MDL I'm sorry this one. Um, this one there you go this is a cleaned version and simplified version of the test that it's given in the examples and here basically what we're doing is we are loading this parameters which is here which tells hey this is the map and this PCD point cloud map and once we have this then It loads it to the parent server, the most parent server, then we open Arvis that it's configured to visualize all this stuff, and then we load this remapping the the correct topics. So this is the the ones that it needs, and this is the ones that we have. So in this case, the, the point clouds. It's this one, so we remap it here, and the other ones I gave them the same name. But if you have another robot, it won't be the same, so here you have to change it. And then this basically what it does is publish the the P, the point cloud PC um, this file that we did that we just checked the the cloud PCD. It publishes this PCD into a point cloud topic in ROS and that way the MCL 3D can use it yeah so let's let's fire it up so we have our simulation running so let's there we go let's launch it And there we go. So as you can see, the localization it's not very good. We can estimate if we want, but as you can see, we have it there. So We can estimate the pose, but it's getting a bit weird. So let's let's try it again, like that.
And there you go. So it's telling us that it's here, but basically it's not there. It's around here. So as you can see, it needs some work, but it's positioning my robot based on what it's seeing. So I would say that it's quite a good package. And the only thing is that our tab gives this functionality uh, out of the box. So you can do navigation with our tab. So I don't really know the, the applications of using this. So leave it in the comments um, if you see a potential use or an advantage of using this package in front of our tab navigation, for example. And yeah, that's quite it. So please subscribe if you like the video and, and give us a thumbs up. Until then, keep building. Thank you.